My name is Chef Ski, James Warneski, and this is Cooking with Ski. Hello everyone, I'm Chef Ski and this is Cooking Whiskey, a real deal cooking channel. A place where you can learn to cook like a professional chef. Guys, I just want to take a moment and kind of to explain to you why I'm kind of sitting in my chair while I'm doing these videos or part of the videos. As some of you know, I've had knee replacement surgery on my right knee. Uh, that was totally replaced uh, last year and I'm in rehab, finishing up my rehab for that. And next month, I'm getting ready to go into uh, surgery for my left knee, same thing. So I'm staying off my feet as much as I possibly can, but I want to get these videos out to you. Uh, so I'm just uh, still in the kitchen cooking, and I'm just taking breaks in between. Uh, so I just want to let you know why I'm kind of sitting here in my chair um, and taking a little bit of break while I'm doing this. But welcome back to the Real Deal Cooking Channel. I have a fa another fantastic video for you. I just made a roasted chicken that is to die for. And I'm going to share that recipe with you. Just remember to hit the thumbs up button if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. So let's get started making this amazing French style roasted chicken. Uh, we're going to make the soup together. And I've already gone ahead and roasted this whole chicken. I've got another episode I showed you how to go ahead and do this. Right now, and then let it go ahead for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees uh, until you get a little bit of color on it. Uh, then I went ahead and pulled it. And what we're going to get ready to see now on the next slide is I went ahead and put it on the counter. You want to go ahead and let it cool long enough to go ahead and pull the chicken. You want to keep the meat, but you want to go ahead and put all the bones and everything back into the Dutch oven. So we're going to use that for making the stew, I mean the soup. And now that we've got there all the bones, the carcass, I've added in my maripois, uh, which is celery, carrots, uh, bay leaf. Uh, went ahead and put in onions, and we're going to bring this up thyme, uh, okay, garnet. Uh, we put that all on there. And the key to a really good uh, soup base, chicken noodle broth, is to let, as you've seen right here, it's just bubbling 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 uh, and we're going to go ahead and let this go for about three three and a half hours and occasionally you, know, you need to come back and you see a little bit of that uh, scum that's on top of it we're going to thin that along and go ahead and remove that and one thing I want to go ahead and stress is that when you do your maripaw you want to go ahead and do that first uh, so we'll go ahead and chop all the onions carrots and everything we'll get that knocked out of the way so we can just concentrate on cooking that's the fun part Now we're about halfway through, about an hour, hour and a half, and as you can see, uh, everything's starting to reduce down. I've been skimming a little bit. There's still a bit a little left there. Now I want you to pay attention and on the side of your pot, because uh, what we're going to be getting is evaporation. Uh, so you want to go ahead and mark a line at the top when you first put it in, and then when you're finished, what we're going to do is take all the carcass, uh, vegetables, and everything, all that out, and we're going to want to go ahead and add water back into it. Uh, bring it up to that original line that we started out with. The key to a killer broth is you want to go ahead and simmer until you get all the flavor out of the, the uh, bones, the meat, uh, the vegetables. There's nothing left to give and all that is now into the broth. What we're getting ready to do is I pulled all the carcass, I pulled most of all the uh, vegetables and everything out of it, and I'm going to put the vegetables back in again. We're going to go ahead and blitz this, uh, meaning we're going ahead and bring in um, the vegetables, and I'm going to use an immersion blender. Uh, we're going to go ahead and combine everything up, 
Uh, then we'll go ahead and get ready to go ahead. There you go. I'm bringing my new immersion blender in. I'm going to blitz it now. Um, basically, I'm going to um, basically get this all down to a really fine um, flavor. So what we're going to be doing, we're leaving the vegetables and all that in there, the nutrients and all that. This one game that gave a lot of flavor uh, with this. Then we're going to come back and we're going to go ahead and skim the top of it off because uh, we do have a little bit of impurities left in this. Now, if you don't have an immersion blender like I do, don't worry about it. You can go ahead and use your blender and do the exact same thing, except to be doing it in the blender and then putting it back into the stock uh, pot to go ahead and do it uh, like that. So you can use your blender if you don't have one. It does the same thing. Now, this is where I'm going to go come in and we're going to strain this blitz uh, broth. Uh, so you can see right now I'm bringing my spoon in and uh, that new scum that's on the sitting on the top of it. I'm going to be working that off. Uh, that's what I mean by straining through this soups once we have already had it blitzed. Okay, now that I've done some of the skimming off, and we'll be doing some more a little bit later because we're going to constantly be skimming this thing. I'm cleaning it up. Uh, I'm getting ready to add in all that you new know, pulled chicken. I've got both uh, the breast meat, the white meat. I'm also using the dark meat. I love dark meat. I think the uh, texture and flavors between the white and dark really help uh, pull this soup together. In addition, I've also uh, decided to use uh, potato into this soup. It's optional. You don't have to put it in. Uh, I went ahead and diced up a couple of potatoes, uh, about three small rusk potatoes. Uh, peeled them, I uh, diced them into about quarter inch cubes. I'm going to be putting them in and then I'm going to go ahead and start simmering this uh, for about no 10, about 10 minutes. I'm going to simmer it. Then I'll come back uh, and I'll show you what I'm getting ready to do at that point. Now this has been simmering for about 10 minutes. Um, getting ready to come back in and like I was saying, uh, constantly skimming the top of this, cleaning it all up with the scum, um, everything else. So we're making a nice clean or as clean as soup as we can make. Uh, then we'll go ahead and continue going from here. Once I've got some of this taken off, as you can see, I'm still working on this. Uh, we'll go ahead and add in the cream. The cream is what makes it a French style. Uh, French they always have some cream into theirs. Now with French style soups, they're a little bit more on the broth side. They're not um, as um, uh, what I'm thinking of uh, thick as American. So right now I'm adding in the cream into it. I'm going to go ahead and stir it on in, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and continue simmering this uh, for approximately another 10 minutes. I'll, I'll come back and I'm going to test uh, the potato because I just want the potato to become al dente just to start uh, to soften up a little bit. Now, as you can see, new, we've now been simmering an additional 10 minutes and I'm um, getting ready to go ahead and ladle in. This is where, new, before you actually new, put it into your bowl, you will come back and taste the seasoning. Make sure the flavor is the way you want it. Um, I've tested that and it is, uh, is tasting amazingly good. Uh, so I'll go ahead and ladle up a bowl. Um, and right now we're getting ready to go ahead and um, show you this amazingly good flavorful French style chicken soup. Now 
that I've got this uh, ladled up into a bowl, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and serve it out. And as you see, you know, I'm with my presentations, I'm going to look pretty. I added up a little bit of spring onion. That's a little bit of garnish, a little bit of parsley. Uh, go ahead and I got a couple uh, pieces of rosemary and olive crust bread that I'm going to be having with this. Uh, this is the little, I have a secret ingredient here and it is called roasted cumin seeds. It's in the description and it really does add an amazing flavor to it. Now, this is um, really um, tasted this. I had me and I had a bowl of it. Uh, the chicken is so flavorful, so juicy. Uh, that is incredible uh, to have tasted this. So, uh, this is an awesome soup. I would go ahead and highly recommend making it. I'll go ahead and post everything up onto you know, uh, the blog and upload this later. Uh, but you got to try the soup. It is a phenomenal soup. This is French-style chicken soup uh, with a potato in it.